Hello, today's video is on stock number 37217RL, the auto reversing uh, motor controller. As you can see, it's about just a little over two inches long by about one inch wide. Uh, I thought I'd make a quick video showing you how to program it. It can be a little intimidating. It probably will take a few attempts, but I think I found a nice little shortcut uh, from the flow chart that may make it a little easier for you. So let's first talk about it. Uh, this is power to the control board. That's all just to the control board and power the relay. It will not power your motor at all. It's just if you need a separate power source for the electronics. Uh, the motor itself is power in uh, and terminals out to your motor. Got it flipped over so it's look off reverse, you know, M minus, M plus, power minus, power plus. Uh, you can use the same power source to run your motor and electronics as long as it's between 5 and 13 volts. Uh, so if you've got a, if you're trying to use a 12 volt motor, be sure you have a, a fairly well regulated power supply so you don't, you don't exceed the 13 volt max input. So let's see, uh, explain a few other little spots here. Uh, there's a chip LED called D1 that will when that's lit, you're in the programming mode. I, I will get in and show you how this is done, just going through the uh, different functions. This, These little six pads here are what are called the multipliers. I'll explain it at the end of the video because I think this you know, most people will not need this because uh, just in the, the 1x mode, it can go up to 5,000 seconds. And uh, multipliers, it can go up to 40,000 seconds, which is about 10 hours. So, let's see. Then you got a single push button switch. Uh, then you have... D2 here, an LED chip. Now that indicates whether you're in what's called the forward mode. If it's lit, it activates the relay and that it flips the polarity and it puts you in the reverse mode. Um, right off the bat, uh, if you want your motor, if say, say your motor starts in you know counterclockwise and you want to start in clockwise, you can switch polarity to the motor. Do not switch polarity on uh, this side because if you're going to share the common power like I will here shortly you need to make sure your polarity is correct. Okay one last thing everybody asks me about my nice little uh, get that out of there motor uh, I just use it because it has a nice visual of what this, what's happening but it's just a standard DC little motor. All right let me hook it up and uh, show you how to program it. Okay, I have it hooked up now. Uh, you can see the power coming in. I jumpered it to powering the board itself because I'm using it at uh, 12 volts DC. Uh, I've got my little 12 volt motor here hooked up. I'm going to apply power. Uh, as soon as you apply power, it starts running the program. Uh, it's currently set up uh, for about four seconds in each, each direction. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's the standard program. I'm not sure if they'll come like that in the factory, but uh, let's get into programming. You have one little button here. Well, let me point this out first. When, this, when the D2 LED is out, you're going in the forward position. When the D2 LED is on, you're going in the reverse. So that'll help you when it comes time to program when you're, which one you're uh, programming. So let's start with the programming. Here. And this is the shortcut I found out. It doesn't necessarily explain well in the flow chart. When you press and hold, the D1 LED comes on. That's how I hope, hopefully you can see that. That means you're in programming mode. Uh, with D2 LED off, it means you're dealing with the forward. But if you press and hold the button again, the D2 LED turns on, which means you're dealing with the reverse. As long as both LEDs are on, you're in programming, I'm programming to reverse. So if, if I were to do two, two quick small presses, one, two, I think I took too long there. Let's get back in the program. Yeah. All right. Let's get back in the program. D1 is on. Press and hold again. D2 is on. So I'm now dealing with reverse program. I got two quick presses. One, two. The D1 LED goes out. Now when I turn it on again, it, this starts the time. It's flashing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Press again. Now I got ten seconds on the reverse. Now I press and hold the button again. Now we're dealing with the forward. And two quick presses. One, two. And then we start the time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I have ten seconds of reverse, eight seconds going forward. 
quickest, easiest ways to uh, unplug the power. One, two, three, four, five. Am I counting too slow? Like I say, sometimes it takes a little practice. A little patience. All right, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So that's the basic programming on it. You can go in. It may take several attempts, uh, but that's I found the quickest and easiest way is uh, just to learn to press the button. Like you see the D1, then you can switch back and forth between programming forward and programming reverse. All right, now to explain about the multiplier. When you see these six little tabs, uh, when there's no jumpers across them, you are in uh, 1x mode, meaning, like I said, you're allowed up to 5,000 seconds. Uh, I will put up a little screenshot of the different modes. You have 1x, then you have 2x. So if you have the 2x mode, and you have 10 seconds, well, that, that's 20 seconds. And if you have uh, 10 seconds in 8x mode, that's 80 seconds. The only drawback is you must use that multiplier for both forward and reverse. There's no using the multiplier on a single forward or single reverse. Next, obviously, this is going to keep running until you remove power. So keep that in mind. Other than that, I think I covered most of the, uh, well, let's see, the relay rated at 30 volts, 2 amps, um, 125 volts at 1 amp. Other than that, I think that covers it. If you have any questions, let us know. Uh, thank you for watching our video.